do find the return of the sun in the spring is quite inspiring. And um, in our yoga practice, you know, we do the sun salutations. Uh, and there is a lot of that intention of renewal each time, each cycle through a practice is a brand new cycle. So we have the opportunity throughout our practice to begin again, to arrive again, to, you know, like we don't carry what happened. We don't carry it forward. We're here now. It's like, um, and it is, a practice of honoring that and a practice of um, the sun within ourselves, the bright light within ourselves. Um, and I think that's great to remember. <laughs> so let's um, go ahead and close our eyes. Settle into the breath. I think we'll take, um, let's take three big breath cycles to settle in on our own. We'll bring our attention into the pelvis, the whole lower body here of the abdomen, around and lower than the navel, the pelvic bowl. And you can use your mind's eye to feel or imagine a glowing light there, like a sphere. Notice the quality. The size. Or the color, if there's a color. There's an exterior texture. Any interior sensation? And just scanning to notice if, if, if there's any sensations or tendencies happening in the rest of the body.
bringing the awareness up to the upper abdomen. In all directions, the sides and the back. Uh, the deep inside, of course. And again, noticing or imagining a light there. may be similar, it may be different. Maybe seeing the shape and size. Maybe it shifts. Any texture or interesting qualities that are coming up? Any color, sensation. Scanning through your whole body to notice anything that's shifted or Anything you feel. And up to the chest. This could include some of like the throat. It's a big, big enough area. Not specific, it's really yours, your energy, your mind side. Your fire. Your light. Noticing what comes up here. Maybe it's different than the others. Maybe it feels different. Noticing the color, the shape. As you're breathing, noticing if anything is changing. Taking a moment to check in with your whole body.
And one more breath. Bring one hand to the area that felt like it needed the most support or maybe the smallest and one that felt like the most. Slow exhale. Bring the hands down, we'll draw the hands together. And let's easy let that go. Gentle blink, open your eye. Let's draw the hands, rub them together. And doing that little energy face wash, we'll just bring the hands over the face. I like to do about three and um, like behind the ears. Do it two more times. Uh, bring the hands down, roll the shoulder. Start right, moving forward and backward in your cat cow. Similar concept to the chakra system um, in Chinese medicine, we have the Dan Tian, the three energy sources, the three burners, they're um, sometimes called the three fires. Come up, draw the shoulders down, stretch the arms out and up. Reach up, big stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Take a breath and exhale and forward fold. Another cycle of breath. Good. We'll come back up. We're just gonna go ahead and change our leg position. I'm actually warm now. Rolling through some more cat cow. And come up, bring the hands to the chest or to the shoulders, making some circles. Circles can start with the elbows low. They could start with the elbows out. Out is a little bit more strenuous on the neck and the shoulders. As the elbows draw forward, notice the contracting in the chest, in the pecs. As they draw back and down, 
notice the shoulder blades contracting towards each other, the outer shoulder blade muscles, rotator cuffs drawing in. Relax the arms down to the sides. Roll the shoulders back and stretch the arms up. And release the fingers, pressing up. Exhale to round the back, press forward. Inhale back up, relax the arms down. Bring the hand to the opposite leg, stretch back. Depending on where the hands are, you might find a different sensation. Notice where your hands are. Stretch the arms back up. Exhale, cross the hand to a different part of your leg. Inhale, stretch up. Forward fold. Good, let's go ahead and take the hands behind us. Press gently down into the fingertips and lift up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, easy, let that go. Ooh, back bends, interesting. Okay, let's come on into our table and we'll flow through some more cat cows, get things moving. As always, take care of yourself. Do what's right for you. Lots of engagement through the front body as we're rolling through our cat cow. Walk your hands up the legs. Bring the hands to the low back if you can, if it's okay. Draw the elbows back slightly without pushing the pelvis forward. Engage the quads up. Engage the low belly in and up. Taking time to ease the elbows back just a little. You can have the toes tucked if that helps you feel stable. And slide the hands down. Good, go ahead and take the hands forward. Let's stretch the um, right leg back and press into the toe. Just give me a little stretch in the space of the back of your leg and the heel. Change sides. Good. Step back into down dog. Another moment in your down dog. The next exhale, take your time coming forward. A half lift to a forward fold. Inhale to rise up. Stretch your arms up. Exhale to relax the arms to your sides. Roll the shoulders back. 
Stand in mountain pose, take a breath into the feet. Inhale, stretch your arms up, lift up. Maybe the hands come together, maybe they don't. Exhale, big forward fold, tip the pelvis forward, bend the knees. Draw the tummy down to the legs. Front body engages in a lot. Back of the neck lengthens, top of the head towards the toe. Halfway lift, lengthen out. The spine and the legs, low belly in. Exhale, step back into your plank pose. Hold your plank and keep breathing. Knees up or down. Engage the hands as if they were moving towards each other to engage and um, strengthen through the pecs in the front. You might have a little micro bend of the elbows back towards you like chaturanga arms. Exhale to come all the way down. Six cobras, little tiny cobras. Strong legs, press into the feet. Lifting through the low belly, lifting through the heart, all the strength in your back. Gentle pressure into the pelvic bone, pressing down. Maybe one or two more, depending on where you're at. And push back up to down dog. Big exhale, lift you up to down dog. Come all the way forward. Halfway lift into forward fold. Rise up, relax the arms. We're gonna go through this a few more times, gaining some speed. Take it at your own pace. Stretch up, big inhale, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, step back to plank and lower down. One breath into Cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Soothing, clearing breath cycles. Come all the way forward. Half lift, lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine, draw in through that front body. Forward fold. Relax the head down. Inhale, lifts you up, front body strong, quads, low belly, lifts you up. Exhale, the arms back to the sides. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Step back, lower down. One long exhale, if possible. Cobra. Exhale back to down dog. <clears throat> if tracking your breath with your movement creates difficulty breathing, if it creates more stress, you might just let go of that and breathe and move. <laughs> Come all the way forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, the arms to the sides. Begin again. Exhale to fold. Inhale to your half lift. 
step back. Maybe you come through an up dog or a cobra. Exhale back to down dog. Come forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Mountain, arms to the sides. Inhale, up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Back to plank, lower through, chaturanga, up dog cobra. And exhale back to down dog. And on the second part of our sun salutations, we'll stretch the left leg back. And then bring that foot forward. Come up in crescent. Step forward. Come down to chair pose. Come up, stretch up. Come to forward fold. We're just rolling right through. Halfway lift, back to plank. Roll through the chaturanga. Always an option, of course, to modify it in the way that's right for you. Up dog or cobra. Exhaling back to down dog. Reset your breath. Stretch the right leg back. Exhale to step the foot forward. Inhale to rise. Ooh. Arms up. Breathe. Step forward. Down to the chair. Inhale, stretch up, forward fold. Good, we're just going to roll right through. Halfway lift, step back, come through chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, pressing back to down dog. Left leg up. Exhale, step it forward, come back up through crescent lunge. I mentioned this, I've been coming up, bending into my knees a little bit, strong core. I keep my arms kind of to my sides and let my core lift me up and then take my arms up. It's just been a little body experiment. Step forward, down to chair. Stretch up, forward fold. Halfway lift, step back. Lower through your chaturanga, your up dog or your cobra. Exhaling back to your down dog. Right leg back. Exhale it forward. Come up. Step forward. Down to chair. Ah. 
And then when we come up, we'll stay up. Stretch the arm, relax the arms. Roll the shoulders, maybe you roll your wrists a little bit. And stretch up. Big lift, micro bend of the knees. Pelvis presses forward slightly. Maybe the heart lifts up and the arms draw back. Hugging the tailbone underneath you. Exhale, forward fold. Hang out in forward fold. Shake your head a little bit, relax your arms. Halfway lift, and we're just taking the uh, right leg back. Good. A few times lengthening, lifting. It doesn't have to be like a straight leg. Mine certainly does not, and that would be painful to my hamstrings and my knee. Lengthening. Lifting. You might have blocks under your hands that would give you more space to lengthen. You might notice the back heel lifts up a little. Good. Go ahead and lower the back knee down. Take the arms up. Lift up, up, up. Exhale, your hands down. Lengthen out your front leg, bring the toes up. Give a little space, giving a little time. Bend into the knee, arms up. Big breath up. Exhale, hands down. Again, lengthen out. Bend into the knee, arms up. I use the engagement of the glutes in this lower leg to direct the tailbone with the leg. If I'm going to lift up my heart more and draw my arms back more for a back bend, just a little heart opening. Exhale, let that go. Hands down. One more time, lengthen your leg. Just give space. Take a breath. Good. Now we're going to bend into this front knee and change the back foot into a warrior one. Come up. So my back foot, I'm hopping it a couple of times into place. Rise up. Breathing here. Draw the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Draw your hands down. Again, I'm engaging my tailbone a little underneath me. So it hugs underneath. This helps to avoid pressing it back and just gives more attention to the rest of the spine. Anchors. Open up across your chest. Open through the throat. Open through the eyes. Roll your head inside of your knee, humble. And slowly come out. Release the arms, lengthen out the leg, draw the hip back to fold into your pyramid. Soft jaw, smooth breath. 
Bend back in front knee, rise up and step forward. Might shake it out a little bit side to side. Other side, stretch up. Exhale to forward fold. Half lift and the left leg is going back. Again, a few times lifting and sinking in your hips. And think about lengthening from my heel through the top of my head. And then that line lifts up. So go ahead and soften that back knee down, take the arms up. Exhale, your hands down, lengthen out the leg. I point the toes up, pinky toe up, and the sits bones are drawing back little by little to lengthen the leg. Bend into the knee, lift up the arms. Maybe the hands come to, towards each other or they come together. If that's too much on the neck and shoulders, just do what's right for you, giving more space. Lift up your heart. Exhale, hands down. Relax, lengthen out your leg. The eyes are gazing downward. The top of the head is pointing towards your toe. Bend the knee, arms up. Exhale, lengthen out. Then we'll bend the front knee, taking the back foot to warrior one. Rise up, arrive into your pose. Roll the arms behind you, roll the arms back, elbows rolling back. Make space across your chest, lifting up the heart. Pulling the hands downward towards your back foot. Exhale, grab. The arms are lifting up. Gentle, let that go, come out. Lengthen out the leg. Find your pyramid pose. Bend that knee and come up, step forward, arms to the side. A similar side to side motion. People have different tension patterns, different things occur in the body when they try to do different things. I don't know if it's common or if it's me, but I am being specific about the direction of the tailbone when I'm coming into back bends. First of all, you know, with my back, it doesn't really bend very much to begin with. So it tends to displace tension and bend into a different area. One thing that occurs for me is that the low back 
and the pelvis tend to tip back if I try to upper back bend. Trying to change that, I think about leveling it out more to give space upwards, outwards. You might notice something similar. Let's go ahead and relax the arms, let that go. Step out wide onto the mat and we'll come into our beautiful wide forward fold. Breath to arrive here, to relax into it, to scan through your body. Again, a little micro bend in the knees and the, the sits bones lift up. Good. Let's give length to the inner legs, walking the hands side to side and just bending into the knee. Maybe only a little bit is great. Sometimes I use my elbow to the inner knee to help direct it with the toe. And we'll come back up to center. Open up to the right. Setting up to the right. Maybe a few times lifting and sinking. Come into your warrior two arms. Reverse your warrior, stretch forward and up and over. Come up to triangle. Breathe in your sides, open up in your sides. And that knee, reverse your warrior. So I'm stacking my knee again. I'm bringing my pelvis more neutral and coming up and over. Reach back, reach and let it go. Rotate the foot back to your wide forward fold. Good, stretch out side to side in the way that feels good for you. Tugging both hands to the leg, locking them in front of your foot. Let's come up. Open out to the left. Setting up. Over your two arms. Spreading out across your chest. Breathing. 
Reverse warrior, stretch forward, up and over. Breathe. Not collapsing the spine. Always in any back bend. We're lifting, creating space, holding space, and come up to triangle. Keep breathing in your triangle. Good, bend that knee, take time coming back up, set up and over. Reach forward, we're like getting it, we're grabbing it and we're giving it out. Keep breathing and let it go. Rotate the foot back to your right forward fold. Good, walk the hands forward and shift the hips back, align with the heels. Taking a few breaths, soften the heart. Opening through the shoulders. Kind of lift with my inhale, like a little bit of a half lift and create more space. Go ahead and walk the hands underneath you. Bend the elbows to draw the head downward. And we'll slowly come up. Bring the feet together, shake it out. Bringing the feet together, big toes together, a little pie slice, they say, between the heels. <clears throat> Stretch the arms up, bringing the palms together, point your fingers up. Of course, modify as needed. Check your knees, make sure your knees are okay. If they're locking back, they're shifting a lot side to side, just bring awareness there. Holding some awareness there as you shift side to side. Hands to the right, hips to the left. The eyes turn over to the left a little. We're keeping straight in line, not shifting the shoulders and uh, ribs back or forward. Other side. Keep going. And maybe the side of the ribs do turn a little bit higher up. I'm not rolling them back. Other side. Let go, rest the arms. Let's take an easy moment in a tree pose. Stand on to the left leg, hug the right knee up. Open out into your expression of tree. You'll have the option to transition to a standing figure four and any of the options from there. Like a forward fold or a squat. Your expression of tree. Not. 
I've been noticing the cute, sweet little flower buds on trees lately. Little flowers popping out of the ground. Change size. and come out. I was just thinking what if tree pose was like spring flower pose, how would that feel different? So let's come back to the front. And we're gonna come into a forward fold, take a moment to forward fold. Bringing the knees down into a table. Shift your hips side to side. Walk the hands back up. And we're gonna have time for camo pose. Like in the beginning, bring your hands to the low back. And we're using the hands here to help support, stabilize. You can tuck your toes. And remember we're having the lower glutes help to draw the tailbone more downward. Drawing the elbows back. Take this slow. Give yourself space and time to breathe. Shifting the pelvis a little more forward, elbows a little further back. Continue to breathe. Letting the heart, the high heart, the upper ribs lift upwards, shoulder blades are drawing towards each other. Noticing our sensations, internal, external. Maybe we come to the point of bringing our hands to the heels. Maybe we don't. Option to stop anywhere along the way. Not smoothly. Find something to sit back on or sit onto your heels. Close your eyes or soften your eyes downward. Hands rest at the legs. Take a moment to stretch the right arm across the body. I just use my left arm to support that, either holding on with my hand or using the forearm. Level with the shoulder or lower. 
could go higher. It's not, not comfortable. Change. Spell that out. You can come down into your child's pose. time coming up to your seat. We'll rise up into a butterfly forward fold. Up. Taking the um, left hand to the right knee and the right hand just supporting behind to twist, bend the elbow. So we're doing this twist of, of space for the shoulder blade. My spine's not twisting as much as it could if I was doing more of a spinal twist, more of an engaging through the arm like you would maybe on a door frame. Soften that grip, take the hand a little further, lift up the spine and make it spinal twist. So it's a little bit different. You might even change the hand from the knee to the ankle or the toe. Change, center, setting up to the other side. So it's the grip on the knee, the elbow bends to engage the arm. And it's like we're allowing the shoulder to the shoulder blade to move a bit. Change. Soften. Take it to the spine twist. Take the left leg forward. And we'll just take a nice, easy fold forward. Same thing, pelvis tips forward. I bend a little in my knee, just trying to be extra nice to my knees these days. Sit bones reach back to lengthen the leg.
Put the hands up. Change sides. And come on. Let's shift to our backs so we can relax down. And come all the way to your back. Hug the knees or shift the knees side to side. Just doing what feels right for you to arrive on your back. Bring the feet down and we'll come to our figure four, taking the left leg up, cross it over. Out. Right leg up, cross. Find a fair shift very, very slowly, very minimally, my legs to the side, away from the bent knee. So my right leg is the one being stretched right now. I'm taking my legs maybe an inch to the left. And it's just deepening the sensation. I wanna take it nice and gentle and slow. Now, shift your legs side to side. Let's set up into a twist.
come out. We'll find our twist on the other side. The twist might start in one position. Like I'm starting with my top leg extended and my bottom leg extended down. I feel into that. And let that guide me. Maybe I draw both legs up. Maybe they extend out. come out. Recentering yourself. I want to take a moment either doing bear pose. If you like coming into um, your, your shoulder stand or plow pose. You might even like to scoop to a wall, doing legs up the wall. We'll be settling into Shavasana in a moment. So that would be a good time if you do that. I if there's any other comforting poses, positions or movements. Feel ready to come into your shavasana yourself a couple of moments at least. I'm gonna let us turn over just a little bit. And if you need to log out early, go ahead. Give yourself the space. moment of stillness. 